Hey guys, so the I am editing the video that you guys are about to watch right now and um, I just thought I would kind of explain because I don't think I ever did um, but these files are from earlier on this month and the reason that they're just now going up is because I thought that I lost them forever. <laughs> I thought that the SD card wasn't showing them and it was corrupt so I got it fixed, I recovered the files, so here is the video of me buying my first car. Enjoy! Hey guys, what is up? Good morning, it is the morning, and I am so excited. Today is Wednesday, um, December 6th, possibly, <laughs> um, and we are doing something very exciting today. As you guys can probably tell by the title, I'm going to go look at a car, and I'm hoping, hoping that I can get it. I was pre-qualified, which is so exciting for me, honestly. Um... I'm only 20, I'm 21, but in a few days I'll be 22. So I'm only 22 and I got pre-qualified for this loan on my own and so I just think that that's really exciting. I know that a lot of people do it, but it's it's something that I've been working towards, so it's exciting for me um, to just be able to do that on my own without a co-signer and without all of that. Theo's coming. But anyways, we are going to go look at the car today. I am so excited. It's a 2014 Chevy Impala, and I'm really hoping that I like it because I really want this car. It is such a pretty car. <laughs> I love it. So, And I think it'll be really similar to the car that I have now because it's um, a V6, and it's pretty big. Like, it's a pretty big car. Um, we have to get ready. I have to do a few things before we go. We're leaving in a couple of hours. Yeah, we're leaving in a couple of hours, so I have to clean out my car just in case we have to trade it in, um, because that's what I plan to do with it if if I decide to buy this car. So I have to clean out my car, I have to shower, get ready, all of that kind of stuff, and then um, it's like a two-hour drive to go to the place to get the car, so... Yeah, I'm driving two hours to go look at a car, but it's a good price for the car, and I mean, it's... It's a really nice car. Like I, I like the car a lot. So I'm gonna drive that far to go and look at this car. <laughs> Is that? Does that make me crazy? <laughs> hey, are you excited? We're gonna go look at a new car for Mama. And now we are off on our way. We're gonna stop and grab some lunch really quick because I'm starving. And then we have a big two-hour drive. Mom's going with us. Hi. Hi. <laughs> and Theo's in the back. Just hanging out. Sad, this might be the last time I'm in this car. Yeah. Ah! Alright guys, so we just pulled up. I don't know if you guys can even see that. We just got here. I'm nervous. I don't know what to do. Are you going to help me? Of course I am. <laughs> I'm such a little kid when it comes to this stuff. Theo's waking up. Oh, hello! Hi, baby. <laughs> Did you see good? Did you see good? Hi. <laughs> All right, let's go inside. I don't want to. All right, so now <laughs> we just went in there and we talked to the sales guy, not the girl that I've been working with because I did not like her at all. She didn't really follow through with me or anything. It was just kind of weird. Like, usually it's the other way around. Like, you have to, like, tell them to leave you alone, you know, and call it car dealers or whatever. And she wouldn't get back to me. Like, she kept ignoring my emails or whatever. And so, anyways, I did not want to work with her anyways. But guess what? We just went in there and um, we go to sit down with the guy, tell him what car we're interested in. I got pre-approved and everything for the exact amount that we need for that car. And he tells me that the car left the lot. Um, that one of their private dealers or something like that, like, took the car. He does it sometimes with random cars, and of course he took the car that I'm here for. We drove two hours. Ugh! I'm frustrated, but he's coming back with the car. Thank God he wasn't, like, 
three hours away or something stupid like that but have you ever heard of that happening like does that happen just to us only to us so anyways we're gonna run to walmart for a little bit because they're gonna take half an hour or so to get back here with the car so anyways i guess we're gonna go to walmart what do you want to get at walmart oh i don't know <laughs> nothing nothing so guys, instead of Walmart, because neither one of us really actually wanted to go to Walmart, we came to Dairy Queen to grab some food so Theo could get a full belly before we have to go through the whole process of buying a car. So, are you happy with your decision? Are you happy with our decision? He's eating some chicken right now. shadow on her face because the lighting is all weird because it's dark outside it is 5 15 now that only took three hours two hours well three hours three if hours it time, if it would have been on time anyways we are gonna go home because we have a two-hour drive home so we're not gonna get home until late but i just want to say that i'm so excited i'll show you guys the car tomorrow since it's dark now and can't really see it um i'll just show you a clip of it tomorrow um tomorrow morning when it when the sun comes out so are you excited I'm excited. I'm excited. Let's go. Let's go. Hey guys, so it is the next day. I am about to go outside and show you my <clears throat> I'm about to go outside and show you my car. I am so excited, you guys. It is just I love this car. Like I'm every time I get into it, I find something new that I love even more about it and it just keeps adding up into this great big ball of love that I love through this car. Anyways, I'm going to show you the car right now. So I just like hurried up and showed you guys this. Every time I get into my car, it like pops up with the screen. Um, and I just think that's really cool. But anyways, so I decided that I would show you guys the inside of the car first. Just because it's really cold outside. And yeah, anyways. Um, so this is the inside of the car. It's really nice. Um, this is like a digital screen. So it shows me my speed and like digital time and um it has like time speed and my um miles on there and it's digital which i really really like um and then it has all of the little control buttons here you know pretty basic i will say though that the um interior is like a chocolate brown and black and it has like little silver details and honestly guys i love that like i just think it is really cool so here is the dash. Sorry, I have my dream catcher here and the nice little garbage cans outside. But um, my dream catcher here, I always put a dream catcher in my car. I just really like the way they look. I just really like the way it looks, honestly. So there's my dream catcher. I got this one in Mexico when we were down there. Um, and then I have the dashboard here. I do have a reverse camera, um, backup camera. So that one, that's what shows there. And it also shows, I should have brought my keys out, but I didn't. Um shows like the temperature the time like all the radio stations and everything is on that screen and then just all of the controls it's really nice because there's dual um heating and cooling control so this one will show a temperature and again it's digital so you can actually see like the temperature um i should have really brought my keys out here but that's okay um so it's just really cool it like you can customize it so I can have it cooler over here and like the passenger can have it warmer or vice versa or we can have it the exact same it's really kind of cool and then all the controls for that and then there's just like a little storage compartment space I have my sunglasses in there right now these are the high key black fades 
And then here we have this. I love this because I think that it is so unique. I love like the texture that there is and like this silver. I don't really know like what I would call it, but I just really love this part. And um, yeah, that's just, um, it does go into manual mode, which I don't really know how to do. So I will never use that, but my mom really liked that feature because she does know how to drive manual. <laughs> And it has heated seats, guys. It has heated seats. What the heck? Like, how bougie is that? That is so cool. Uh, I probably won't use that very often. And then the lights are really cool. They're like LED lights. So, um, they're really bright at night. It's really nice. And then the passenger side, like I said, it's like a chocolatey brown color. And I really like it. I really didn't know if I would or not. But I really do. And then, like, the middle here is like that um like microfiber material almost so there's that and then in the back we have theo's stuff so this is his car seat his base and the little mirror that i have hooked up there and then in the back there's cup holders and it's a little dirty back there because i spilled something already on it like yesterday how stupid is that huh but it's really roomy like i don't even know if you can like tell how much room there is, that's my little ice scraper. And now this is it from the outside. Um, I don't know if you guys can hear me because it's really windy, but I'm in love. It's a Chevy Impala 2014. Um, so it's not brand new, but it's really nice. And I really like it. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed, and thank you for watching. Um, I know it's not very exciting to everybody, but it's so exciting to me um, that I qualified for this car by myself and that I got to get a new car, and I'm just so excited. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. Um, if you guys enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up and maybe subscribe before you leave, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.